Good morning, everyone. I'm live and I'm still setting up, but I'm going to teach you today how to make bugs in alcohol ink. So let's get to it. And I'll tell you what I'm using as I'm using it because I never know what I'm going to do. You know me. So let's make a little something, something to put these bugs on. Just makes it more interesting. So I'm just going to go into some dirty alcohol. And I think I'll go into a little of the, um, the vineyard color and just make a little flower. A little purple. Because I'm going to make some bumblebees and the bumblebees will be... Um, it's hard to think and talk at the same time. But anyway, the uh, bubbles these are going to be yellow, so the purple will set off the yellow really nicely. So I just want to make this a little darker back here. I'm just scribbling. If you can scribble, you can do this. It's basically a V shape and just scribble. Less comes off my brush, so now it's lighter, so I go off the top. Now down here, I just wanted a little bit. These are front petals. So, And I'm not... It's not about the painting of the flowers, so I just want to put a little something in here to make it a little more interesting and just scribble. Look how pretty that is. And what am I doing? I'm scribbling like a little kid. Learn from your kids. They know how to paint. They're not fearful. That's the most thing. So anyway, I'm just adding a little dark. Just to give it some drama and scribbling out. Okay, that looks good enough for me. Now I want to get into doing my bumblebees. These are beautiful. Everybody loves my bumblebees because I personally like a little life in my paintings. I'm cleaning my brush out quite nicely and I'm using a napkin. These last forever. So get dinner napkins. Don't waste the, uh, the paper towels. They just don't last. Anyway, what I'm going to do is bumblebees. So I'm just putting a little pill shape. You see that? I mean a line. You can do that, right? Look. A little line. It's a little juicy. That's all right. I can come back and add more. I can take off if I want, but I just want to get some color in there right now. Do you see that these are two different sizes? Let's make a tiny one back here. This is what helps create depth. So you say this one's closer, this one's further away. It's a little more interesting. If I want little ones far away, I just make little dots. Now you automatically know these are little bumblebees, but they're far away. So you know that it, it creates depth, and that's really beautiful, I think. So now I'm going to switch. This is a number five brush, by the way. And now I'm going to switch to a number one or two, any liner. And I'm going to go into some, um, some black and some teak wood. I don't like to use color pretty much right out of the bottle. I like to change it up a little bit. And I'm just adding a belt around the middle of the bee. Now, as it goes back, like, there's less and less on my brush, and it's getting a little lighter. See that? You can do that, right? You can make a line. That's it. It's a line. Now, there's less on my brush, so I'm going to give them a little head. So I'm just kind of making a U shape. And then a little point, and then bring it in. Now he's got a little pointer. Now, I'm just going to do the same thing on this one. Just a V. It's like a little triangle. And a little head. I mean, you can get fancy, but why bother? Nobody's going to even notice it. I'm not even doing these back here. It doesn't matter. I'm wiping out my brush so it's pretty clean. I don't like that little knob there, so I lift it off with the clean alcohol on the brush. I can put a little highlight on his head just by lifting. See that? Makes it a little more interesting than just one big old blob. And you're just going to tap on that one. So that looks pretty good to me, and I'm just checking to make sure you're seeing it, and then you seem to be seeing it, okay? So now what I want to do is also make some little wings, and I'm going to put a little shadow underneath his belly so I can see him on the side more. I think it's interesting. And then I'm just going to pull his little wings out. See, if they're flying, you don't really see it. So what I want to do is just get the angle right. There we go. So there, it looks like he's flying because they're not stationary like stick-on lips. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, the blondes that wear those real red, red lips. <laughs> anyway, I don't like, I call them stick-on lips. I don't like my bumblebees having stick-on lips. I might make it a little darker towards the base of the bee. I can adjust this any amount I want. And I 
can add more dark at the top in between the, the little winglets. I'm using the actual dirty uh, vineyard. And uh, adding a little of that in there at the base to give it a little more pop. And I'm going to use that for a shadow color. And I'm softening edges. I'm not going into the middle. I'm just softening the edge like in this. Now, wipe out your brush. I live in Tucson, so it dries out quite quickly. So I'm just tapping on the edge. You see that? Don't go into the middle. Just tap on the edge. Do you see how it blends really nice? Okay, now that this had a chance to set, I can come back and just go scribble back and forth and it gives that appearance of a flight that the, uh, now because of the angle I'm on, I need to uh, just switch my arm around there. See how easy it is to change the angle? And I might make it a little lighter at the top. So he's flying, he's really looking adorable. I mean, you can get really technical with this if you want, but I'm not gonna today, I'm just gonna Get this baby on there. And you know what? You never know what I'm going to do next. I'm just lifting off some of the yellow to make a highlight. Do you see how easy that is? It's just lifting a little alcohol. The big trick is don't put too much alcohol on your brush and then tap it off first, then go and give it a little lift. Okay. Now I'm going to go back into the vineyard color and I'm using it with a lot of alcohol so it's very thin. So I get a nice little soft because otherwise it comes out very dark like that. So control your ink, and then you're gonna have the world by the pearls. And let's get this guy some little wings. Very pretty. So you can see already this is a beautiful little painting. I'm gonna come back with some of that vineyard color and pop it in here for a little more added, a little added darkness in here and brightness, because this color is very bright. And let's say I wanted a little yellow in there and make like a center, which is nice because it brings all the color around and back into the painting. And now uh, that's very desirable to me. See, we all paint differently. So don't think if you don't like something, that's fine because that makes you a different painter. So anyway, I'm just going to put a little alcohol right in here and blot. I'm going to do it again. Put a few drops of alcohol and then blot. See how it brings back my center? Now what I can do is go in with a little, I'm using, uh, well, that won't work. <laughs> it's not the right kind of alcohol. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with a little um, dandelion. I like that color. It's very bright and I want this to pop. So I'm gonna put a little in my palette and I'm gonna grab it with the tip of my brush, but I don't want too much, so I'm tapping off and then I'll put little dots on there. Maybe I can use a little more. You gotta watch out because it'll run on you. So you gotta be very careful. But look at the color. Look at how that pops because of the purple around it. I can even use some of that up here. Put a little of that popping yellow on this guy. Makes him really stand out. I like it. So that's how you do Bumblebee, so easy. Let's just bring this guy, give him a little more detail. If you're too tight, to soften it. Don't be afraid of changing anything. There's nothing you can, you can hurt when doing this. Now, I wanted to show you one more bug. I thought this would be fun. So the bees are beautiful, and, and we could get into the legs and all that. Maybe I'll do a leg or two. I have to look at the picture though. Mm -hmm. eh, we won't do, we won't bother. I'm gonna do an ant. I wanna show you how to do ants. So what I wanna do is, here's a leaf. Let's just work on the leaf, just a teeny bit to give it a little body. And we'll just, here's my leaf, a scribble. Do you see how I scribble? There we go, leaves. Don't overthink it. I think a lot of us work way too hard, don't you think so? You know you could do it, but there's got to be an easier way. Well, there is. It's the struggle of learning. I'll even put some of that green up here. I think it adds a lot. See how when you add more colors that are in the family of... It just, well, it's not actually in the family. It's actually just bringing tints of color so it harmonizes with the whole painting. So don't be afraid to bring a little green up into inside here, maybe. 
the trick is, is the value has to be the same. So you wouldn't want it real dark right here. You want it to be a very light amount. Anyway, that's a little lesson on that. So let's do an ant. And all an ant is is black or dark brown or whatever color you want. You can have red ants. You can have purple ants because you have an abstract painting going. It's whatever you want, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. I'm moving my ink up here just to see the consistency. I don't want it too juicy. And all you do is three dots. I'm going to do a big one just so you'll see. One, well, I guess it's not that big. Three dots. One, two, three. And everybody knows their ants. Okay, I don't get really crazy with it. These are for easy, easy peasy. You can have an ant on here. That'd be kind of fun, huh? What's fun about these is putting them in your painting. People get a big kick out of they actually find it and they go, oh my God, there's an ant. I'm not kidding. That brings them into your painting and you can sell your painting easier. Also, they're nice gifts, let's face it. I'm going to come up here again and check my ink, get it to the consistency I want and put a little more in this of the dock. Do you see how he's taken over? And then I'm going to do the same here. I might give him a little antenna. And I think their legs go kind of weird. They're wonky. They kind of come out and back. Anyway, just a hint. That's it. Voila. Perfect little bees. So there you go. That's how you make a bee. You can do it if you have a hard time. Send me a picture of your painting and I'll mock it up for you. You got you to send it in a message. It's the only way I can mock it up. And it's just a scribble mock-up. That's all I got for the, my abilities, but I'm happy to help you. And I'm putting a little dock in here just for drama. You see how I can't leave anything alone? But look how the drama pops. It might jigger-jagger into the center so it doesn't look like a bullseye. Do you see that? It has texture. All about texture. Well, anyway, that's how I make ants and bumblebees. I hope you enjoyed it and like my page. Become a subscriber. I put things on every now and then, and I like this live because you see mistakes. And when I make a mistake, you see how I fix it, and that's how you really, really learn. So anyway, till next time, please um, share with your friends, and a uh, happy painting. Now I'm going to figure out how to shut this off. <laughs> Bye now. Let me see. It doesn't have a done button. Share highlights. Cancel X.